While many applications allow you to store your data, the most efficient way to manage your data is by relating your data tables together. In Claris FileMaker, you can create a relational database to allow you to manage many sets of data all in a single source of truth. Relating tables together means that when you change the data in one place, the data is changed wherever it appears so that your data is always up to date for all users in real time. When you create, change, or view the relationships in a FileMaker Pro database, you will use the Relationships graph. To display the Relationships graph, you'll go to the File menu, select Manage, Database, and then choose the Relationships tab. You'll then use all the buttons and other elements in the Relationship graph to define the relationships. Each box in the Relationship graph represents a table occurrence, which is a separate view into a single underlining source table. This example has three tables, Assets, Asset History, and Staff. Therefore, when the tables are first created, you'll see three different boxes in the Relationships graph. In FileMaker, you create relationships between two table occurrences at a time. When planning your app, you'll determine how the tables are related to each other. And you can do this by asking simple questions that describe how the groups of data interact. For example, you might ask, are assets assigned to staff? And does this app track the history of asset use? So for example, you may have determined that one staff can be assigned many assets. This indicates that you have a one-to-many relationship, with the staff being on the one side of that relationship and the assets being on the many. While you'll use the relationship graph to make these relationships, in order to link these two tables together, they will first need keys. Keys are fields that you will define in each table that will help you identify the relationships between records in these tables. Now, without keys defined, you won't be able to know which records are related to other records in other tables. However, with key fields added to your tables, FileMaker will then have the rules in place to identify relationships between records. The keys that are defined in the table on the one side of a relationship are called primary keys, and the keys that are defined in the tables that are on the many side of a relationship are called foreign keys. While you may have already created primary keys in some of your tables, if you haven't, whenever new tables are created, FileMaker automatically creates primary keys for you as part of the default field set. FileMaker defines the fields with the field option of Auto Enter set to add a non-duplicate value in each field each time a record's created, thus giving each record a unique identifier. Since your primary keys are already defined, all you'll need to do is create the keys in the tables that are on the many side of relationships. Those are called the foreign keys. Knowing which tables need foreign keys is easy. Just remember that any table that's on the many of a one-to-many relationship is going to need a foreign key. In this example, assets are on the many side of the staff to assets relationship, and asset history is on the many side in the assets to asset history relationship. Therefore, assets will need a foreign key, and asset history will need a foreign key. Defining foreign keys is easy. Just define a field and name it after the one table and call it a foreign key. For example, in the assets table, we might call the foreign key foreign key staff. And in the asset history table, we could call this foreign key asset. Keep in mind that you can name these fields anything you want. The convention used here is just a suggestion and has no functional impact on your relationships. And once your keys are defined, you can go to the relationship graph. And here, all you'll have to do is simply drag from the primary key in the one table to the corresponding foreign key in the many table. So we'll go from the primary key in staff to the foreign key staff in assets. Similarly, we'll do primary key in assets to the foreign key asset in asset history. And that's it. Your tables are now related and FileMaker has rules in place allowing the system to identify when records in one table are related to records in another table. Once you have your relationships in place, you can now use the various FileMaker features that leverage relationships between tables. 
For example, you could use the portal layout objects to view related records from other tables. Here, you could add a portal to the asset details layout that would let you see all the related asset history for a given record in the asset table. And relationships are not just for viewing data. You could use portals based on relationships to create related records, or you can even use relationships in your calculation fields. For example, you could create a calculation in the asset table that counts the history for each asset. When you reference related values in your calculations, FileMaker will constantly monitor the records in the related table and update in real time, giving you powerful relational capabilities throughout your custom app. And once you get more comfortable with relationships in FileMaker, you can even make them more sophisticated. In order to solve more complicated business problems, you can create multiple relationships between tables with any combination of matching fields. For example, in this app, you could show not just related asset history, but asset history where the value in the status field equals checked out. You could create a new relationship between these two tables without affecting any other relationships that you've already created. You could even use multiple matches to define the relationship. And these new relationships can be used in the same way as your primary in foreign key field relationships. The power of relational database is at your fingertips whenever you manage your data in Claris FileMaker, helping you evolve the way your business manages its data. For next steps, see the Claris knowledge base on how to relate tables in your app.